I'm Pooh in love. I'm six years old. Today I want to thank today's robot day. I like to thank Pastana Nagari Sawa for giving me a chance to read you my favorite picture book. Let's go for a drive by Mo Willem. Look, pig in the bed, 
and the umbrella and sunglasses and the map are flying in the sky. You could play pirates. What do you have and if you have a pig with a pal? My favorite book. Hello everyone, I'm Kaden Chang and I'm 11 years old. I would like to thank Bustaka Nagari Sarwa for organizing this event. This event is in conjunction with War Book Day. Today, I am going to be reading this book called Spirit Animals. The author of this book is Brandon Moon. I started reading this book this month when my mother bought it for me at Popular. Reading books can benefit us because there are many stories in it and you would learn new words. For example, last time in my exam, I didn't know how to write some words but after reading some novels like this, I improved in my English exam. This book is a fictional book. Ladies and gentlemen, I like reading because reading is really helpful in your exams. Especially when you don't know what, you can try reading and it really would help you. Well, now I'm going to tell you about this book story. All across the world, legends are appearing great and bees are one of the most powerful in Edas and are being summoned as spirit animals. But a mysterious stranger is hunting this legend. Just as they are reborn and he is crushing anyone who stands in his way. These are the stories of those stolen legends. And one of the young heroes who will stop at nothing to get them back. These are the texts of the fallen beast. In conclusion, Animal Spirits is one of my favorite books because inside this book, there are many interesting stories and the spirit animals are very strong and tough. I hope all of you here will go, buy, go to buy this book at Popular so that you can experience how the spirit animals live. I recommend all of you to go to popular right now and share this video so that all of your friends can hear this and they'll go buy spirit animals. Thank you. Have fun reading. Hi semua, nama saya Sabri Madani. Sa saya berumur 9 tahun. Untuk har untuk program hari ini Kebanyakan membaca buku Sebab saya suka membaca buku Buku yang saya membaca adalah <coughs> Adalah buku Buku sambu dan badak air Dalam buku cerita ini Saya telah Mahamahi <coughs> Air Berbezaan an Tara badak sambu dan badak air. Badak sambu makan daun kayu menakala badak menakala air makan rumput dan juga tebuh 
tumbuh tumbuhan tumbuh tumbuhan badak sembuh dari Asia dan badak air pula terdapat di Afrika badak pandai berenang dan suka terdapat di Afrika badak air pandai berenang dan suka berendam dari pagi hingga ke petang. Jom kawan-kawan kita sama-sama membaca buku. Terima kasih Pastako Pusaka Pustaka Negeri Sawar Sarawak menjemput saya dalam program ini. Terima kasih. Bye. Hello, 大家好，我是陈子怡，非常感谢下周图书馆邀请我来说这本配合世世界读书日的我最喜欢的一本书。我选的呢是这本《你一定有办法》，里面有一点点小细节，希望你们能注意到。当月色还是晚晚的时候。爷爷他缝了一条奇妙的毯子，毯子又舒服又保暖，还可以把噩梦通通赶跑。不过月色渐渐长大了，奇妙的毯子也变得老旧。有一天，妈妈对他说：“约瑟，看看你的毯子，又破又旧，好难看，真该把它丢了。”约瑟说：“爷爷一定有办法。”爷爷拿起毯子，翻过来又翻过去。嗯，爷爷拿起剪刀，开始咔嚓咔嚓的剪，再用针飞快的缝进缝出，缝进缝出。爷爷说：“这块料子还够做。”一件奇妙的外套，约瑟穿上这件奇妙的外套，开心的跑去又跑出去玩了。不过，约瑟渐渐长大，奇妙的外套也变得老旧了。有一天，妈妈对他说：“约瑟，看看你的毯外套，出水了，变小了，一点也不合身，真该把它丢了。”约瑟说：“爷爷一定有办法。”爷爷拿起了外套，翻过来又翻过去。啊、嗯，爷爷拿起了剪刀，开始咔嚓咔嚓的剪，也再用针线飞，再用针飞快的缝进缝出，缝进缝出。爷爷说：“这块料子还够做。”一件奇妙的背心。第二天，月色穿着这件奇妙的背心去上学。不过，月色渐渐长大了，奇妙的背心也变得老旧了。有一天，妈妈对他说：“约瑟，看看你的背心，上面沾了胶，又沾沾了颜料。”真该把它丢了。约瑟说：“爷爷一定有办法。”爷爷拿起了背心，翻过来又翻过去。嗯，爷爷拿起剪刀，开始咔嚓咔嚓的剪，再用针飞快的的缝进缝出，缝进缝出。爷爷说：“这块料子还够做。”一条奇妙的领带。每个礼拜五，约瑟都带着这条奇妙的领带去爷爷奶奶家。不过，约瑟渐渐长大了，奇妙的领带也变得老旧。有一天，妈妈对他说。约瑟，看看你的领带，沾了汤，脏了一大块，真得
，弄得他都都变形了，真该把它丢了。月色说：“爷爷一定有办法。”爷爷拿起了领带，翻过来又翻过去。嗯，爷爷拿起剪刀，开始咔嚓咔嚓的剪，再用针飞快的缝进缝出，缝进缝出。爷爷说：“这块料子还够做。”奇妙的手帕，约瑟收集的小石头，就用这块奇妙的手帕包得好好的。不过，约瑟渐渐长大了，奇妙的手帕也变得老旧。有一天，妈妈对他说：“约瑟，看看你的手帕，已经用得破破烂烂，斑斑点点，真该把它丢了。”约瑟说：“爷爷一定有办法。”爷爷拿起了手帕，翻过来又翻过去。啊、嗯！爷爷拿起了剪刀，开始咔嚓咔嚓的剪，再用针飞快的缝进缝出，缝进缝出。爷爷说：“这块料子还够做。”一颗奇妙的纽扣。约瑟把这颗奇妙的纽扣装在他的吊带上，这样裤子就不会下滑滑下来了。有一天，妈妈对他说：“约瑟，你的纽扣呢？”约瑟一看，纽扣不见了。他找遍了所有的地方，就是找不到纽纽扣。约瑟跑到爷爷家，约瑟嚷着：“我的纽扣，我的奇妙的纽扣不见了！”他的妈妈跟着跑来说：“约瑟，听我说，那可那颗纽扣没有了，不在了，消失了。即使是爷爷，也没办法无中生有呀。”爷爷难过的摇摇摇头，说：“约瑟啊，你妈妈说的没错。”第二天，约瑟去上学。嗯，约瑟拿起笔来，在纸上刷刷刷的写。他说：“这些材料还够做。”写成一个奇妙的故事。好啦，故事到这里结束了。你们有没有看到细节呢？细节其实就是有下面还有小老鼠一家在过着生活。拜拜。